Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to trigger automations using your DDR clips. Now in the past I've shown you how you can trigger different automations using uh, macros, triggers on screen, hotspots, etc. But you can also use the in and out points of your DDR clips to do the same thing. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and the first thing I want to show you is where to assign the different macros to your DDR clips. So we'll go down here to DDR1. I have this clip in here, and if I right click on it, you'll see I have different options to choose from. And one of those is automation. So we'll click on that. And then you'll see that on the automation side, I have a, a basically a place for me to assign different macros when that clip starts and when that clip ends. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and let's configure some of these macros here. I've already built a few of these over here in this folder that I've called uh, all new macros. So the uh, first macro that I have in here, if I hit play on it, you'll see all it does is start my recording. Okay. And then the second one that I have in here, what that's going to do is if I play that, it'll go to my input number five and it'll bring on my lower third. Cool. That's all these macros do. So let's go ahead and reset everything. I'm going to put this back to normal here and go back to our DDR. Right click on that clip and say automation. And then under this drop down, we can choose any of the different macros that we have either from the system or the ones that we just built. So I'll go into my all new macros. So whenever I start this clip, it's going to start recording on my program output. And then also on end, we'll go to input five and bring on my lower third. All right, so let's hit apply. And I have autoplay checked here. So now all I have to do is click DDR1 and we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm gonna do that and check it out. Recording stops up here at the top. On clip two with me and Kiki. Right. And the clip's about to end. Boom. Then we fade all the way over to input number five. And here comes that lower third. So, as you can see, using your DDR clips to trigger off different automations and macros is a great way to simplify your workflow. Now, if you like this video but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a demonstration by yours truly. And I'll show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster system. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us in your posts on Instagram at New Tech Inc. And subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos like this. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.